Now you have your base underneath you. Give me a jab. Make it a little less here. You get on your back foot like this. Back foot, back foot, all the way. See where I'm at? Bring the leg off the ground. Okay. Just kind of feel that connection. Don't really let your body move too much. Stay back there on that back foot. Double it up. Okay, your head's not moving forward, but your body's still stable. There you go. Stack goes back. You, you feel the difference on that right now. That was fucking way better. Now when you do the pump, keep the same silence. Nice. Give me the cross on the top of that. Better on the turn. There you go. More thoracic. That was actually pretty good thoracic rotation. Huh? Yeah, you mean this you mean or what? No, like this. Is it too far out? Huh? Is it too far out? You mean? Yeah, try it again. Try it again. I'm just saying for the feet, do the fuck. That's better. Leave your pinky toe up on your right side. Then turn the foot in. It. Like maybe a. There you go. Yeah. Keep that pinky toe. Stop here, get that shortening of the bicep, and you end up getting back into this, and that straining your bicep tends to happen again. We gotta loosen that up as much as possible. If you replace this with this, automatically now that bicep doesn't get that strain on you. That makes sense? Okay. Jab, jab straight, turn the thoracic. Right, you feel the difference on that? Now recoil it. Don't hold the punch out there. turned outward and you're pushing this way, you're putting that strain all the way down the outside of the knee. Does that make sense? Do you want to see like I'm running at you? Well, I'm not too much. Like 45. Like you're completely 40 shooting at 90 degree right now, bro. So try to keep it at 45 because that's going to keep less pressure. Well, think about it. If we have the hip square here and I'm running, then that makes sense, right? But what we want to load our punches, 45 so we can throw a straight hook, yeah. jab, whatever we want, right? So your foot should point at 45 degrees as well. Does that make sense? Okay. Go again. Jab, jab, straight. Better. Scap your back, turn that torso. Look okay, straight after that. Nice, T spine, a little bit more. Scap your back, tuck your hips under. There you go. Give me a left hook. Remember, find the base on your back foot. Then come across, find your back foot. And I want less turn of the hip. Watch my hip. I feel there's power behind that, but I don't have to turn my hip. Look, I'm here. I'm coming across. I don't have any turn. Try focusing less on cuts, uh, a pivot of the hips. Going like this and more. I'm going to turn the from here. Make sense? Okay. So don't keep that. There you go. Put your weight on your back foot. There you go. Shift the weight to your back foot all the way. Watch me here. Doing the same thing. Look. Barely anything. Watch. You see that there's potency on that, right? And that's all the way off the ground. Do the same thing right now. There's no need to put any pressure on that front foot. There you go. Just keep that weight back there. You'll find that you don't need to do that. Get off that front foot. You can put it down just to kind of slightly stabilize yourself. And just turn your torso to your right. Do you feel the difference on that? Should feel more connected, more controllable now. Look at your base. It's immediately there, right? It's, we, that's what's gotten us better in terms of your striking and why you're getting hit a lot less, because you're not fighting here so much all the time. So when you're getting in there, you're not constantly taking shots because you're in position. You've gotten yourself used to being back here. So at least we're able to adjust that now. Just try thinking about that when you're throwing your punches.